Yeah, no question about it. Winning is an attitude, and we have seen it so many times over the year. When you see one team in town start to do well, the others follow suit. The clouds that hung over First Energy Stadium this Monday were for once meteorological and not metaphorical. For in the eyes and hearts and minds of Browns fans, the sun couldn't be shining brighter. Absolutely. You wake up on Monday morning and you're like, you're feeling good. You're ramped up, ready to go. You know, and we don't have that feeling often here in Cleveland. Yes, 2004 was the last time, almost generational. I mean, in my lifetime, this is the second time that I've seen a victory Monday coming off a of week one, so we're particularly happy about that. Yes, yeah, smiles in just about every workplace were a little wider today. Absolutely. That's why we're in Browns attire today. It's a Browns winning Monday, so our office, a bunch of us, we're all wearing brown stuff today. Just makes the week a good week. Again, said few employees ever on a Monday. Joe from Medina had an extra special reason to start this week off on the right foot. I'm actually I'm getting married on Saturday, so I really didn't want, you know, a loss to hang over my head all week. And we're getting married at the Cleveland Brown Stadium, uh, or our receptions there. So you needed a, needed a new jersey, needed to come in style. No surprise, the jersey he bought, he had to have custom made. Rookie kicker Cade York who won the game with a 58-yard field goal. Cade York is my hero. Cade York is going to be a legend in Cleveland, and he started that yesterday. Well, as you can tell, Cleveland Browns fans are now chomping at the bit for Sunday's home opener against the New York Jets. You may wonder, what am I going to do with my time in between? Well, we've got some good news. Your first place Cleveland Guardians are now back in town. And they're squeezing nine games into eight days, one at a time for you. Yeah, we have day game, 110 games on Wednesday and Thursday. We have a day game on Saturday, 110, a night game on Saturday at 710. Uh, 140 on Sunday, so we'll hit every single uh, fan uh, zone for uh, best game time. All this winning has left Mustafa for one, looking forward to the road ahead. Hopefully they can maintain to the bitter end and uh, Super Bowl, World Series, uh, Cavaliers, the championship again. So, hey, we all look forward to the positive things that might happen. And again, winning is an attitude, and Mustafa clearly has the right attitude. Again, bringing up 2016, that magical year when the Cavs won it all and the Guardians, they came within one game of winning it all. A playoff chasing race that continues here tonight. First pitch an hour from now at 610. Reporting live at Progressive Field, John Kasich, News 5.